All right, this is a guide how to set up Underwriter Touches plugin. This plugin maintains counters of how many times loan processor or underwriter touches a file from a perspective of opening and saving it. And uh, the reason you want to have these numbers is that uh, these numbers are very easy indicator of how difficult the loans are. And uh, to set it up, we need to follow two steps. So first step is to define two fields. So in my case, I have one field for loan processor counter and one field for underwriter counter, and they are both integers. Now, second step is I need to define which personas represent uh, loan processors and underwriters. Now for that, I need to open any loan. And uh, the first time I open a loan after the plugin is installed, I will see an error that the plugin settings file is missing and it's normal because it is missing. Now, once we set it up, this error should not appear. If it appears, it means someone actually deleted the file and uh, we should get notified. Now, let's go into this loan. Let's go into our form uh, right here. Same error again, that's fine. Now, let's go into Manage Settings button. And in my case, I have three loan processor per personas and I have five underwriter personas. In your case, you may have one by default, or you may have even more, depending on your encompass. Now I'm going to search for the field I defined, cx.touches uh, loan processor. And then I'm going to copy paste it for the loan for the underwriter and uh, just uh, modify the last two letters. As you notice, when I deleted uh, the last two letters, uh, my field ID became red, red color. That means it's an invalid field. Once it becomes valid, it gets black again. Now, this checkbox here means that uh, if a user has uh, both loan processor and uh, underwriter personas, I count him as, uh, as an underwriter. In your case, you may want to count uh, this user as a loan processor, depending on how you want to set it up. Now, let's save it. Let's close out of this loan and let's test it as a loan processor and underwriter. So in my case, Ellen is uh, the loan processor and uh, I'm going to open a loan. And as you can see, loan monitor immediately shows that cx.touches.lp changed to one. It was blank, now it's one. Now let's save this loan. As you can see, the field did not change. Now let's save it again. Same thing, we saved it and uh, the field stayed the same. So the reason why we want to keep the field at the same number is that uh, let's say loan processor opens the loan and they run some services which save the loan like five times. We don't want to increment this counter because the loan processor is still working on the loan, right? So then the loan processor closes it and uh, now we have a count. If the loan processor opens the loan again, then the counter gets incremented again. So let's save it and our loan processor count will be at two. Now let's open it as an underwriter. So uh, I opened it. Now as you can see, touches.uw became one. Let's save it. And now let's examine this loan as an admin. So let's go into the admin loan and uh, let's go into the plugin uh, admin form. As you can see, the loan processor touches counter is at two and uh, the underwriter touches counter is at, at one. And uh, if for some reason you need to change these counters, like let's say you open the loan and some counters are way too excessive, you can easily change it in this form as well. So for example, I may say no, loan processor didn't open it twice. They really worked on it only once. So I changed it, I saved the loan and now it's it's changed to one. Now for your encompass, you may want to actually add these fields into the reporting database because this would allow you to run reports and assess loan difficulty or it would allow you to add these fields into the pipeline and uh, sort loans by somewhat difficulty level. I hope you liked this uh, demo and I hope you will use the Underwriter Touches plugin for your encompass. Thank you.